Aha! Ingenuity strikes! Uh, so, uh, I was noticing the fins on my uh, platter were getting really rather suited up and uh, I figured I will need to clean those before they get completely gunked down because that really limits your thermal performance. Sooty is not a very good thermal conductor. And then I went, hang on, I got a trashy old cast iron wok. Is that going to fit the hole? And obviously it did. So now we have a cast iron wok sitting directly over the flames there. Can you see that? Shit, you're almost being focused. The flames going directly onto the cast iron. And uh, it's working incredibly well. So we have a pump sitting on an old piece of power supply piece there, uh, where it's uh, just uh, yes, yeah, so it's pumping in. So this is just the inlet; it's not running. Uh, and we have the outlet going there. Uh, the this uh, stove has a tendency to rake the flames backwards. So I thought I'd put the coldest water around the back way. That's the most energy going. Perhaps that's not a good idea actually, because. Maybe you want the exhaust water in the cooler part, allowing it to heat up a bit before getting to a really hot piece. But yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to do that, just move the hose over there instead, because this side is about 5 degrees colder than that side, since there's more fire going. And this is working so well, I'm just not going to put the older pot back, because uh, we are maintaining, oh wow, 43 there for a sec. 42C uh, circulation temp uh, on the same fan settings and flow settings as before with the same fire as well. Uh, so that's what well, we were sitting at about 36, 37 before, so that's 6 degrees warmer, something like that. I don't know what that translates to in watts, but uh, I reckon it's enough to make a difference. Uh, so now I'm just going to uh, put together an aluminium foil hat for this, turn it into a flying saucer uh, so that uh, it's not going to evaporate so quickly because the downside of a wok is it's just got a capacity of about uh, 3 litres or so, uh, about uh, 30 scoops and I reckon this is about uh, 1 deciliter each. Uh, so if I don't do that I'm afraid there's just going to be too much evaporation going on but uh, that is no biggie at all and this also allows us to have a much better uh, air the thermal transfer solution since we actually can get the heat sinks all the way around there and since we have a fire here this is the hottest part and I couldn't do that with the pot because it's got a plastic handle as you can see oh wow that water's nasty uh, these plastic handles uh, do not like being obviously too hot so I had to I uh, put uh, one of these uh, rocks underneath each to uh, prevent the just radiant heat from the stove destroying the handles. Uh, so since we don't need to have a rock there anymore, uh, we can just uh, have heat sinks instead. And that's really uh, making a difference. This shelf is getting uh, a bit toasty, uh, as it should be. But yeah, there you go. We're cooking with a wok. Okay, so following up on the wok, uh, I've improved the uh, heat exchanger in the uh, upstairs uh, and uh, I've added a curtain and a bunch of clothes. So uh, previously I just had a bunch of fans uh, sitting on there, lightly guffing some air through it. But, but they were making a difference, but uh, not uh, nothing too grand. Uh, and I thought, if I just take any cloth and do this, I can use the entire area of the heat exchanger to uh, grab heat and thus uh, use my fans more efficiently. Uh, and that's what I did. And, uh, uh, and while doing that work, I had to have the, the fans disconnected for a while and uh, the whole thing covered and the circulation water got to quite hot since there was n not a lot of heat being transferred out into the room while it was working. So, uh, to 
remedy that and make sure nothing overheats uh, since I took and put the fans on max power. So previously I had them uh, on these uh, uh, resistors, the, the, the blue ones uh, were running at uh, about 30% uh, speed or something like that uh, and I put them on full power for a while and now using the pot for heating I couldn't do that because uh, that just wasn't enough thermal capacity it, if the circulation water would get down to uh, barely 30 C and there'd just be uh, not a lot of heat coming out of the system at all so I had to throttle them down but now with a wok, if we measure the temp right there on the fan motor, we have 38 degrees air coming out. Ha! Four, 46, no, that's okay. Well, that's wrong, that's just the fan motor being warm. But we have uh, well, well on the upper end of the 30s, C air coming through here air get, get that that's the temperature of the air that's heating up the fan blades after it's passed through the radiator at full fan power that's in, incredible like compared to the power i had with a pot this is amazing like the input water right now we have 39 no, wait, that's, that's the output water. <laughs> so we have 49C output water, 45C input water to the radiator. So we're managing, what's it, 45, 30. So that's like a 7 degree drop across this thing. And it's keeping up. It's, I, I thought it was just going to cool down after like 10 minutes, but no, this has been running for a decent amount of time. And. Uh, when I started this, uh, like just about half an hour ago, and started, we had 13.7 C in here, according to this thing. Now we're at 15. We, we've gained. <laughs> What's that? 13.7, 14. We've gained 1.3 degrees in less than an hour, just by adding that stuff, and exchanging our pot for a wok like the f I am just blown away by the thermal capacity of this system like I I was not expecting to ever reach 15 C without using that electric heater over there running off a generator and this is, this is not that small of a room and it's it is cool over here since it is blown into the corner but it is considerably warmer than it's been. That reads probably wrong, 16.7, yeah. Well, that's not gonna be right. 16, huh. Well, the wall's gonna be cold. Why do you say everything's 16? That can't be right. Well, that's the chimney, so that ought to be warm. Why wow, 16C? It's reading that pretty much everywhere. So yeah, this is 20 on the wall there. 23 on my bed. 25. <laughs> my my bed sheets are 25C. From my car radiator hooked up to a fucking walk in the basement. Oh, that's incredible. That's absolutely incredible. Wow, this is going to be a good night. Even though I'm going to have to start burning wood in a little bit. Like, if we go into this room, 7C. That is warmer. Also, 7. About 7 everywhere. Let's see what we have outside. Well, just uh, Take a heads out, measure that. Yeah, how about zero? Minus one or so. So, yeah. Uh, okay. 
So yeah, we have decent thermal performance now. So let's just have a quick look down to the Miracle Maker itself, the wok. And there we have it, our UFO. That's amazing. Just fill some wood. Put a decent fire going. I'm burning it slowly. The walk of power. 